Yeah, hi, yeah, here we are. So hello everyone, John Donnelly this morning from your Holistic Academy. And uh, I'm on today to talk to Joe Flood, one of our members of your Holistic Academy. How are you doing today, Joe? Great, thank you so much, John. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Good, yeah, it's good to see you, Joe. And we want to just have a conversation today a little bit about your coaching work. Your, your, um, we Coach People is, is the name of your website. It's actually, it's actually joeflood.com. Joeflood.com. Yeah. Joeflood.com. And that's Joe Flood Mindset Coaching. Yeah. Yeah. So you've rebranded recently, Joe. Yeah. I've rebranded recently. Absolutely. Because really and truly, like people look for my name all the time. So I thought, what am I doing? Hiding yeah. on We We Coach People. I'm Joe Flood. And that's kind of it, really. Yeah. So yeah. we're joeflood.com. And everything that anybody needs to know about me is on there. Um, and yeah. there's lots of cool stuff. Go have a read. Yeah. So talk to Joe is 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 not not it's not uh, Joe Duff anymore. It's talk to Joe Flood. <laughs> talk to Joe Flood. Listen here, just reach out, reach out. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. So what sort of clients uh, typically do you coach Joe? Uh, what's your sort of ideal client for you? I suppose yeah. Well, first of all, let me say that um, yeah, my uh, ideal client is somebody who is forty plus, and basically I help people reimagine their lives and look at you know what do they really really want where are they moving how are they moving forward um i help them discover you know where they are now where they want to get to and what is the gap and then we start working on that gap but basically it's women 40 plus who are already in business and perhaps not getting nearly enough clients or you know they're, they're under pressure all the time they're exhausted they're burnt out they're worn out I've been that soldier, so I can show them how to get over all those obstacles. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. And it's mostly solo entrepreneurs, so is it? Uh, I work a lot with solo entrepreneurs for sure. Um, I also work with managers and directors and organizations as well. So it's really and truly, yeah, anybody that needs to change something. My motto and my favorite quote is change doesn't happen by chance, it happens by change. So I show people how to change things, yeah. make yeah. lasting change, yeah. and that takes some time. Sure, Joe. And is this this most of this work is coming from your own experience in life? Like, it's coming from my own experience. So would you like me to share with you my yeah, journey please, to getting from? Do, yeah, Joe, okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I started off my career in London. I worked in corporate. Without getting into nitty gritty details, I worked in corporate London. I came to Ireland. I bought a very old. Um, B and B business and transformed it into a thriving hotel, which I absolutely loved, adored, and worked my ass off, and probably did far too much work. I would have done way over hundred hour weeks. I was always exhausted. In fact, um, I was just reflecting on Christmas time, Christmas Day for me when I had that business. Always involved eating my dinner and then sleeping from about four o'clock to 10 o'clock because I was always so tired and that yeah. was the expectation of everybody else around me oh she'll be so tired she eats the dinner and she goes to sleep because she's wrecked from that job yeah. you see so anyway I made a decision um to sell the business which I absolutely found the most difficult decision I probably ever had to make because I loved my business so much I have two children they're twins one of my children had extra needs and I had nannies around, running around the place um, I couldn't manage I was worried about this child I thought Jesus what am I going to do and I had to make a choice so I sold my first baby and I kept my twins and so then I um, it was really hard because I had I'm really good at telling people what to do so um, I was then here listen there was no manual how am I going to do this and what do I do? So it was learning on the job. And I, I, you know, I just felt totally overwhelmed. I found it really, really hard. Not one, but two kids, no help. And I almost melted down with the whole pressure of that. And yeah. um, then I started discovering um, self-help uh, videos and manuals. Uh, desperation drove me to Google. What am I going to do? You know? So anyway, yeah, long story short, I ended up doing lots and lots and lots of different courses. And I discovered that the answer lay very deep within myself. Yeah. Um, I am currently a, a Jack Canfield success principles trainer, having looked at 
hundreds of other types of coaching programs. I adore the work of Jack Canfield. I love the success principles. This is his book here. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm a certified trainer. And from that, I've created an online coaching program, which is a kind of a basic first step. And the reason I created the program was that every single person I worked with in businesses, their issue was never business strategy. It was never how to get the customers really and truly when it came down to it. It was a whole ton of personal stuff. So I've created a little blueprint that people can take and use and transform their lives, obviously with help. I'd like to maybe later in the conversation talk a little bit about accountability, which is another favorite topic of mine. Yeah, so sure. that's a flavor. Yeah, brilliant. So, so, so what is holistic? The word holistic mean to you, Jordan? What does holistic mean to me? For me, um, I suppose, I think that everything has to come from very deep within yourself. Yeah. So I think that I discovered what I would call my sort of holistic self by discovering meditation, yeah. by discovering mindfulness, by being appreciative of every single thing I have already, not always looking to get satisfied from something else outside. Yeah. And when I realized those things, that's when my life changed so much, like going on a mindful walk, going on a rampage of appreciation. Every morning when I wake up in my bed, before I ever put a foot on the floor, I'm so grateful that I've actually opened my eyes. Yeah. So holistic for me is just, I suppose, you know, yeah, go within. Yeah. There is nobody out there that can do anything to make you happy. And you cannot blame somebody else for your outcomes in your life. And when I realized that, listen, yeah. I was winning every day. Yeah. Mm. I love that, Joe. Fabulous. Yeah, I love that. So tell me about accountability, Joe. <laughs> accountability. Yeah, you need somebody, you know, with a kind of with the wooden spoon behind you. You know yeah. that? <laughs> um, yeah, 80%, you are 80% more likely to be successful if you are being held accountable. And my coaching style, first of all, I've been known as, I call myself now, actually, the Goya coach, G-O-Y-A. That's get off your arse, number one. Yeah. Um, because change doesn't happen by chance. Remember, it happens by change. So something has to happen, an action piece. We have to do things. So what I found was with coaching my lovely clients, and we agreed a whole ton of stuff on calls, things didn't happen for the next call. So now my coaching style is we have an agreement that we make on a call and I send you the agreements on an email and then we come back the next day and we go through the agreements. And then we can, it's a really cool way also of figuring out what stops people doing things. Yeah. yeah. So accountability is, it's everything really. I mean, I suppose when you think of going to the gym, I mean, you go into the gym and if you're given a program, you know, there's somebody there perhaps weighing you at the end of the week or maybe you get measured or whatever. So there's accountability there as well. But it's yeah. everything for me. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. Even for myself, John, um, in terms of I, I love being on. I'm constantly uh, learning and I'm always developing myself. And I'm nearly always 90 percent of the year. I'm yeah. in some kind of program. It yeah. keeps me focused. I'm learning new things. And I'm yeah. being accountable. And I think it's, a, it's, it's, I highly recommend it. Yeah. Okay. So we're almost at the end of 2021. So uh, what was 2021 like for you? 2021 has been an absolutely amazing year for me. Hmm. Um, I did a mastermind six month program. And during that program, I created a breakthrough goal for myself. So what's a breakthrough goal? A breakthrough goal is a goal that is going to transform you when you reach that goal. And for me, it was all of my rebranding. This was my business breakthrough goal. And it was creating my online program. And I know I would not have done that if I had not set that goal. And I broke it down. I looked, where am I now? I have no program. Where do I want to get to? I want a program that's online that I can sell. So that was a lot of work there. There was connecting all the dots. There was all the tech stuff, which I mean, I jumped from. Um, so I went off and I got myself a VA who understood all the tech stuff. Yeah. I didn't think about the cost. I just got on and I did it. And I said, okay, come on. This is how you do this. There are a whole load of things that you need to do. Just get them done. Yeah. 
And so little by little, I broke them down. And about three weeks ago, I reached my breakthrough goal. I am so excited. I know I wouldn't have done it if I had not done set that goal. And then every single day, I have an affirmation around the goal. So I wrote my goal out every single day. I wrote my goal out. And then I did an affirmation underneath that goal. I am so happy and grateful now that I have created my online program and, you know, selling at 149 euros. And I literally wrote that down every day. I sat and I visualized, I closed my eyes and I visualized all of the feelings. You know, I could see the, I could see myself going on Google, searching my name, going into my website. There's my program. It's for sale. I was visualizing uh, sales, all of that. And it yeah. all happened. Yeah. Brilliant job. Yeah. I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of lots of other things because yeah. I, my family are my absolute, they are so important to me. It's one of my highest values. Yeah. I adore my twins. Yeah. Um, I put a lot of work into um, helping them to achieve their best lives. And yeah, so we have lots of little goals that we also achieved. So I'm very excited, um, I yeah. suppose, John, yeah, for 22 as well. Yeah, so I was going to say to you, John, what is what is 2022 look like for you now? What, what, is, what is your major sort of ambition for 2022? 2022 for me is, um, I suppose, in my business, it's to reach as many women as I can to transform their lives. I mean, I've set a big goal to sell 2,000 copies of my online course. Hmm. So that's a goal that I've set. I'm saying it now. In 21, you'll be able to call me next year, John, and say, well, did you reach that goal? Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about speaking on stages and helping as many people as possible. So that's another um, goal for me is to get on at least two or three stages every month for this yeah. coming year. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of other um, things that I want to achieve. My daughter is a phenomenal singer and she is going to be releasing a song into the charts this year. So we're going to try and get that to a number one. It's amazing. Um, my son um, wants to go to America to the John Deere factory and get the tour and the whole stuff there. So that's the kind of stuff uh, we have done for 2022. Yeah, that is so, yeah. So, mm. And it's, so, still, it's still in progress, actually. I have a vision board on the wall, which I look over at every single day. And, yeah. you know, I literally smile when I see what we've written yeah. on there for next year. Fabulous. So, yeah. And one of the things I want to ask you about, Joe, is just the current the current climate out there, because we were talking about this earlier. And, and uh, I guess there's a lot of stress and a lot of uncertainty in people's lives right now. What, what would you say to people right now who are, who are sort of feeling, feeling a little bit under, I guess, a bit under stress and strain about what's going on out there at the moment? OK, so I suppose I would say that worry achieves nothing, hmm. no matter what the issue or the problem. So yeah. worry is the thief of time. Yeah. So I would say, start thinking different thoughts. It yeah. doesn't matter. There's nothing we can do about the pandemic right now. There really isn't, other than the things that we're being asked to do. Wash yeah. our hands, wear a mask. You know, if you want to take the vaccine, I'm, I don't really want to get into whether people should or shouldn't do that. But... I think you have control yourself. There's a beautiful concept, actually, John, which is the perfect moment to share with you. And it's a concept. It's taking it's it's taking responsibility and it's an equation and it's letter E plus or equals O. Mm -hmm. So right now, the event is the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So the or is our response or reaction to it mm -hmm. will equal the outcome, the O. Mm -hmm. So. Like I said, worry is the thief of time. So that's not really going to serve you. So I would say, instead of worrying, spend your time looking around you and saying to yourself what you're very grateful for that you already have. Yeah. I would also say, think about what you can do for somebody else to help them right now. Yeah. Reach down and haul somebody up beside you. Mm. Look after your health. Get out in the fresh air. Drink plenty of H2O hmm. and just look forward. Start thinking about the things that you really want to do with your life. 
Yeah. Don't pause your life because we have a pandemic. It won't go on forever. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, Joe. I love that. Love that. Yeah. That's Thank fantastic you. advice. So, Joe, in terms of the uh, Your Holistic Academy project, we're obviously delighted uh, to have the opportunity to work with you for 2022. And uh, we've got major plans in the corporate world. So, uh, if, if, you're, if you're coaching in the corporate space, uh, what, what, sort of, uh, what sort of coaching what sort of coaching do you do there in the corporate, in the corporate world? Okay, well, one of the things I think that anybody, when you say to me, what sort of coaching would I do in corporate? The first thing is there's obviously somebody in senior management when you're going in. So one of the things as a previous business owner myself, that I think is totally missed by a lot of people. The staff aren't the business. There is no business without the lovely people who work for you, no matter what they're doing. Yeah. Whether they're emptying the bins, sweeping the floor, making the tea, or at high level meetings, contributing to million dollar deals. It really, at the end of the day, these people are the company. Yeah. And so I think that managers need to be aware of that mm. so i like to start everything is top down yeah if you go into any business i would challenge you to go anywhere and if you go and find me a business that you would give a really high rating five star quality you will find that the owner of that business is five star quality mm. yeah so what i have worked when i have worked with um clients in corporate I have worked on their personal lives because everything impacts everything. Like I said at the beginning, there's a wheel, which I use. It's basically just a wheel of life. And I think everybody ought to do it. Take your wheel of life, take your seven, six or seven areas, your personal life, your health and well-being, your finances, your career, and rate yourself. See, how do you feel? What about your contribution in your community? Where's the balance? Yeah. And which area do you need to work on? Yeah. And I think we all need that. I do it every single year. In fact, I do it a couple of times a year and see how am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. I love it, Joe. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, Joe, <clears throat> it's, it's great, to, uh, great to have this conversation. Uh, I just want to sort of, uh, sort of welcome you to your Holistic Academy as well. And, and uh, I'm so delighted that we're going to get the opportunity to work together and, and you mentioned the word transformation earlier so I mean, that's one of one of our mission our mission is around uh, transforming the culture in the workplaces and transforming yeah. the energy um, yes so, yeah. which is wonderful john i mean i applaud you for that i've loved the vibe and the energy the yeah. friendliness the it's just a gorgeous space i mean i feel so welcome in your holistic academy and thank you so much you were the first yeah. person i met and you know, yeah. I, I immediately, in fact, I signed up for the year. I didn't even say, oh, I'm going to try this out, kind of. I said, no, I yeah. like this guy. I'm just going for this. Here yeah. I am, and I'm really, really loving it. You've got yeah. beautiful people in your community, and I'm so excited and delighted to be yeah. here and be Brilliant. part of that. Okay. Mm. Brilliant, Joe. Listen, it's been fabulous. and delighted to get the chance to work with you and excited for what we can do together in 2022, yeah? So uh, we're going to sign off, sign off for now, and we'll, we'll chat to you later, yeah? Okay, lovely. John, just very quickly, if yeah. I could make one more suggestion to the lovely yeah. listeners here. I yeah. think it's an exercise I'm in the middle of at the moment, and it's reflection questions for 2021. And it's a lovely exercise that I suggest everybody does before the year ends. And it's things like, you know, what are you most proud of that you achieved this year? You know, yeah. how would you describe your year in a single word? Lovely little things like that. What was the best book you read this year? You know, what would you go back and tell yourself at the beginning of 2021 if you have the chance? Yeah, brilliant. It's worth doing. I yeah. might stick a little sheet into the group and people can take the reflection questions I'm using and yeah. um, use those. Yeah. It's a lovely exercise. Yeah, and we maybe we could attach that to the recording of, of this uh, as well. So, yeah, so people. Beautiful. Can... Yes. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Thank, Joe. You. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lovely. Thank you. Okay. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.